How you doing? I welcome you to the vlog. You know, recently I put something on my Facebook page about being relentless. I want to explain what I mean by that. We're living in a world right now where we appreciate the idea of people who don't give up. People who get hit hard with challenges, with obstacles, with difficulties, and they persevere, they, they plow right through it. We see this in sports, we see it in business, we see it in education, we see it in so many places of our world, so many areas of life. We appreciate people who do not give up. That's what it means to be relentless. To relent means that you back down, you give in, you capitulate. In other words, you back off, you don't try as hard. We don't accept that in certain areas of life. If your child comes home and they're struggling with school, you say to them, don't give up, be relentless, get in there, keep studying, work hard. You gotta pass these, these tests. When it comes to sports, it's the same thing. We would never accept a coach that relents, that gives up. Well, we're losing, look at the scoreboard. Things don't look good for us. Oh well guys, I guess we're done. Are you kidding? He's fired, he's gone. Business, the same thing. Education, the same thing. But if there's any area where we seem to have accepted the idea of relenting or backing down, capitulating, going soft, it's the way we live our Catholic faith. And this isn't just for Catholics. Any other Christian denomination out there, face it. Many Christians of all denominations have gone belly up soft in the middle of this fight. And it's killing us. Look at the Christian faith over in Europe right now. Look at how well they're practicing the faith. Uh, I think uh, I think roughly 5% are actually faithfully going to Mass on a regular basis. Really? Talk about relenting. In America, back in the 1960s, approximately three out of four Catholics went to Mass faithfully. And other denominations as well, you could say. Where are we now? Roughly one out of four. Capitulation, relenting, not relentless. In other words, We've gone soft. Everything in the world on a natural level tells us that when things get tough, when things get really hard, you prove your worth, you prove your mettle, you fight on, you show others, you make sure that you commit, you are dedicated, you are relentless in sticking to what you know is right and you don't give up. But that doesn't seem to be the case when it comes to living our faith. Look at the divorce rate in America, more than 50%. And some people are okay with that. Some people think that that's actually all right, that, that that's acceptable. Look, when I'm talking about being relentless, that you and I need to be relentless in the way we live our faith, I mean that we are dedicated. I mean that we are committed, that we do not give up, no matter how hard it is. If we see everything around us collapsing, if everybody seems to be running off the cliff, we don't do it if we know that it's not right. Just because so many people in the world have decided that it's okay to throw their arms up and give in to sodomy, contraception, to give in to any and all lifestyles that are contrary to the truth of God. No matter how many people are thinking that or doing that, we must not give in to those things that are offensive to God and that undermine the holiness and truth that God has created us for. God hasn't created you and me to be soft. He has not created us with a spirit of timidity, as scripture says. He's created us to be warrior-minded. He's created us to be firm, to stand firm, steadfast in our faith. That's in 1 Peter 5, verse 9, right after verse 8, where we're told to be watchful and alert because the enemy roams around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. We're told to resist him, firm in our faith, solid in our faith, relentless, in other words, immovable. That's what we're called to be. Now, again, we accept this in every other area of life. We expect it from each other in other areas of life. You and I wouldn't want law enforcement or military to relent, to back down, to give up in the face of an enemy. You and I wouldn't want fire and rescue to relent, to back down if uh, some tragedy, some disaster, some crisis were overwhelming to them. We would never accept that. Why do we accept relenting when it comes to matters of faith? That which is the most important thing the salvation of our souls. So no matter how bad things seem to be, no matter how dark things seem to get, no matter how difficult life is or how threatening the world becomes, be relentless in remaining close to God.